right? Just um, mm -hmm. making a few free meals, you're now getting a customer for life. And that is just the, the business aspect of re-engaging your patients. It's, it's complex and it needs to happen, but sometimes across healthcare, across, you know, MDs, NPs, anyone's, anyone that owns their own clinic, they own their own clinic. It's kind of like, sacrilegious to put on that business hat, right? Because you're the healthcare hat. So how do you, can you give some advice on how you overcame that barrier on business owner and provider? Well, um, one, my, my father is a business owner. He owns five restaurants. So, so. <laughs> I'm going nuts right now for anyone who hears this podcast. <laughs> So um, I went to him with a lot of advice, and I always remember what he told me. Um, and that is how I chose, that's how I look for a facility is, and even when I told him, hey, you know, we're ready to open up an office, he said, okay, don't forget what I told you. The number one thing he told me was when you are a new business and you don't have a lot of, you don't, like, I don't have my own patient base. I don't have a following. So he said, make sure you open up somewhere where there's foot traffic. He says, so you want a nail salon, you want a hair shop, you want a gas station. Um, he said, because people are always going to go get their hair done, get their nails done, and they need gas. So <laughs> what we did was our clinic is next door to the Shell gas station. Our clinic is in a plaza with a hair salon, a tax office, and a restaurant. Um, so I made sure that... I and I I was somewhere that I was very visible that people could mm -hmm. see me and what I've learned is even though um, people don't see come you know like we don't have a line out the door when patients do come in some patients are like oh I've been driving by I saw you and then when they, they were sick they remembered us you know and I was very big mm -hmm. on branding you know our logo and our logo being very visible and um, just constantly pushing our brand in people's face so that they do remember us when they see us mm -hmm. and when yeah. they need us. And um, that has been very helpful. Another thing that I did was I went to all of the business owners in the plaza. I went to the gas station. I went to the hair salon because, uh, you know, hairstylists, they talk. They have a huge clientele. They tell their patients. And so I went to them and I offer all of them one free exam, whether it's a sick visit, whether it was a wellness visit, because they are also entrepreneurs and mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily yeah. mean that they have health insurance and that becomes expensive. So I wanted them to get to know me as a provider and so that they could go tell people. And it has been very, very good because we've had, you know, a lot of patients come from the lady who owns the restaurant, you know, she's an older lady and she cooks every, she cooks soul food. And so she has a whole bunch of people coming in there to see us and it's her, her husband, her son. So he, the son sends his friends to see us, but it was from me providing a free service to them for them to get to know me and to get to develop that bond and that trust. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Cause then essentially it's, it's more than just bartering. You're essentially,